Listen, Doc, we pelicans know a thing or two about feeding frenzies. The trick is to get in and out as fast as you can. But how? <laughs> what say ye, mateys? Ready to stretch your wings? Right. Ah, ready. <laughs> They're coming from every direction. There's got to be a whoa, way out of here. Captain, jump on! Great timing, Peso. Octonauts, let's move out. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. Thanks for the lift, Pelicans. Good to see you're feeling better. Now, why do you say we clean up the rest of this sea rubbish before someone gets hurt? Remember, mateys, in and out fast. Get ready, Octonauts. When the pelicans dive in, try to scoop up as much rubbish as you can. Prepare to plunge! of it, Captain. Ha! Huh. Good work, everyone. Hold on. Where's Peso? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a medic. I help any creature who's hurt or sick. <laughs> oh, thank you. We're good to go. Au revoir. That's funny. The swordfish are leaving. The feeding frenzy must be over. Flippity flippers! There he is! Are you all right in there, Peso? I'm fine, Captain. That was a close one. Thanks, old Charlie. No worry, Peso. Good work, everyone. Pelicans, we couldn't have done it without you. Hey, hey, you missed the spot. Much better. Oh, it has plenty of places for me to blend in. And plenty of hiding places for the rest of us. I say, let's move in. Uh, uh, hold on, everybody. Don't touch anything yet. The sticky limpet glue still needs time to dry. Captain, the second half of the storm is coming in quicker than we thought. And it's going to be big. Oh, but, Cap, the glue hasn't hardened. Everything we've put on will get washed away. Oh, no. Oh, we'll get washed away. I'm scared. Oh, no, it's a tragedy. This is a disaster. Don't worry, me hearties. We Octonauts always have a backup plan. Anybody got a backup plan? Ugh. It's a shame the artificial reef doesn't have a helmet like we do. Hmm. Maybe we can give it one. Ha! 
Hatch seal. Okay, Tweak, lower the tow line. Now take it away, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Easy now. And down. Oh, wonderful! So much. The dome will protect the reef cap, but if it takes a direct hit, I can't guarantee it'll hold. Dashi, can you give me the exact direction the hurricane will hit from? Sending it to you right now, Captain. Octonauts, we'll line up the guffs A, B, D, and E, and form a wall to stop the hurricane from hitting the reef too hard. And I'll use the dub C to try and keep the dome steady. Stay close together, everyone. Hurricane force current will hit in five, four, three, two, one. Brace yourselves. Help in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi! Stop that stew! Quasi! Yeah. Octonauts, to the kitchen! Jump! Say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad now. Where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gup E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the guppe. 
A leafy sea dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your octo goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp? Kelp? More kelp? Ah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh, no! He's getting away from us! Don't worry. We'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Doing peso. He seems fine. Let me get a bit closer. <laughs> he just tried to chomp me. Don't worry, peso. Saltwater crocodiles slap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot. It helps them cool off. <laughs> oh, uh, he may start thrashing about as well. Now you tell me. If the croc is thrashing because it's too hot, then cooling him off should calm him down. Dashy, lower the octopod temperature, cold as you can get it. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> the cooling plan is working, Captain. The croc is going back to sleep. Octonauts, it's time to enjoy some chilly indoor temperatures. <laughs> Big warm, warm sunlight on a tropical pirate's cove. We just need to keep the octopod cold a bit longer. Once we reach warmer waters, we can return to normal temperature and let the croc wake up naturally. This is an ice way to travel, eh, Quasi? Australia, Captain. The croc's home is just a few miles ahead. Captain, the saltwater crocodile is moving a bit. I think he's waking up. Dashy, you can return the octopod temperature back to normal. We'll leave the octopod here and use the gups to tow the croc the rest of the way. All right, octonauts, let's bring this big fella home. Boy, what's all this? What do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, easy, we're friends. Here to help. Help? Then why am I tied up? Looks like you're trying to capture me. Nobody captures a salty. <laughs> Octonauts, abandon guts. You can tie me up, but come any closer and I'll chop you down. Please, let us explain how you got here. We found you in the Antarctic. You were lost. And freezing. And so we brought you back here to your home. Yeah. I do remember being lost. Big icebergs everywhere I turned. So cold I couldn't stay awake. Guess you really did help me out. We help all the creatures of the ocean. We're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Salt. <laughs> Come in, Quasi. Have you collected those seaweed samples? Hi, Captain. And I'm heading back to the Octopod right now. Huh? Shiver, whiskers. I thought I was a hotshot pilot, but these little fishies put me to shame. Octonauts, can you see this? They're sardines, Quasi. Sardines always travel together in a school. But how do they all stay together? The scales on sardines' skin help them feel when other sardines are near them. That's how they stay together when they move. Yow, a triple curlicue with a half-bike squiggle. Gotta try that. Quasi out! 
now I'm going to show these little fishies some moves of my own. Ha-ha! <laughs> Get a load of that! A super fast foot turn with a backwards loop? Not bad. <laughs> hey, I top that! You're on! Roll over with, with a, a one-and-a-half one inward split! <laughs> you swim almost as well as a sardine. You're not too shabby yourself for a little flipper-flapper. The name's Dina. Quasi. Maybe we'll have a rematch someday. You're on. Well, better get back to my school before they... Uh -oh. Did you lose your school? Well, I'll be glad to help you find them. No, thanks. I'm sure they didn't go too far. Bye, Quasi. Bye, Dina. Be careful, matey. Mmm, lunch is served. Ah! Not so fast, ye scurvy shark! Oh, no, lunch is cancelled. Oh, thanks, Quasi. I guess it's not so safe out here without my school. They say there's safety in numbers. True. That's why we sardines always travel in large schools. Then, when a fish who wants to eat us shows up, we swim in lots of different directions so it doesn't know who to follow. Clever. There's only one of me, but I'd be happy to take you safely to your school. That's very nice of you. Boss, there they are now. I know a shortcut through this old shipwreck. What happened? I'm caught in this old fishnet. Are you hurt, Quasi? Nah, I just bumped my head. Don't you worry, I'll get myself out of this mess. Ah, <laughs> stuck. Maybe I could chew through the ropes. No, Dina, you go on ahead or you'll lose your school again. Nope. You didn't abandon me when I needed help. I'm staying here with you till I know you're okay. You're a brave lass, Dina, and a good friend. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. We seem to have landed. Somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. It's great to see you. Um... Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it, all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. <laughs> oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. Yeah! 
This might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Mm. Why won't you open your mouth? Mm -mm. You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. If we all charge and push together, we can do this. Ready? Ready! Goochie, goochie, goo. On your marks. A goochie, 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 goo. Get set. Goochie, goo. Go! <laughs> I got the whale shark to say, ah. You freed us. And you're the whale shark's tummy ache. Ah, <laughs> cute little beast. Oh. Not so little. <laughs> what do you think, Tweak? I'll cut open a shell with my octo slicer, and he'll be free easy as pie. Uh, here. Uh, no, what are you doing? We're going to remove the shell for you. We'll just cut it open and... Stop! Please stop! Oh, hello. Stop? Why? Listen, I'm almost too big for the shell I'm in. I need a new one. And that shell is just right, just right! It may be too small for him, but it's a perfect size for me. He's not the only hermit crab around here, you know. <laughs> oh, well, let's get on with it. If you cut that shell in half, it'll be ruined, ruined! I'll never find another one like it, and believe me, I've looked. If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep changing shells anyway? Oh, because hermit crabs can't grow their own shells, so we borrow the shells of other animals for protection. We move into one shell. Grow up, get bigger. And then move to a bigger shell. So what can we do, Tweak? Maybe I could just cut off the shell and then try to glue it back together. That's too risky. I think we need a new plan. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. Captain, I've never performed a crabectomy before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crabectomy once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Aye, aye, Captain. Step one, steady the shell. Step two, fasten the hose. Step three, Prepare landing pad. Ready, Tweak? I really hope this works. Me too. <clears throat> Captain, we're ready for the crabectomy. All right, Peso. This should take five big pumps of air to push him out. You'll have to really put some muscle into it. <laughs> Flippers in place, Captain. All right. On my count, five, <laughs> four, <laughs> three, <laughs> oh, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah! Hello there. Are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on. Pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. 
Oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurts. I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry? My friends are getting farther and farther away and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's my tail. It hurts so much I can't move. <sighs> you need a bandage. <laughs> that was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help get him back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye. We'll take you all the way to the lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye. Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. That water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. Got it! Grab a hold! Let's go. A cave. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. to swim through that. But we're almost there, I promise. The lake is just on the other side. I really have to get there. We're going in. Follow me. Okay? Just fine. The lake is so calm and beautiful. I am full of squirmy eels. Over here, Peso. Good as new. Watch out for that hot steam! There must be lava under these rocks! Ah! Shellington! I'm trapped! Octopod, please come in! It's Shellington! Barnacle's here. What's up, Shellington? Peso is trapped in this cave! Please send help! Help is on the way, Shellington. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. What's going on? Is Peso in trouble? Aye, matey. But don't you worry. We're off to rescue him now. Peso helped save me. Now I've got to help save him. Shark nose is working again! My nose knows where to go! Uh 
Uh-oh, Quasi. This isn't just a cave. It's a cave with hot lava under the rocks. Ouch! That means this cave could fill up with hot bubbles and steam any second. We've got to get Peso and the herd starfish out of there now. Octonauts! In here! <gasps> Captain! Over here! Peso, don't move! Yeah. How do we get him out? We need to be fast enough to get past those hot bubbles. Peso! Lemmy! Captain, I've got to help Peso! Lemon sharks are one of the fastest sharks in the sea! And I know I'm fast enough to get past those hot bubbles! You're right there, matey! You're faster than any of us! What about your sense of direction? My nose is all better, trust me! All right, Lemmy, go in to the left. Now to the right. Now wait, go! <laughs> Good work, Lemmy. You're as brave as any Octonaut. Absolutely. Thanks for saving me and the Sea Star. Yeah, thanks. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There, that's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved a coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now. Everybody got it? Got, got it. it! Octonauts, let's do this. If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. Oh! Spiky sea urchin! <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? Hmm. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face! <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings! Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Whiz. The home of ABCs, 1s, 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz. That's how easy it is.